it's your girl G Gamer here welcome back to the channel as you can see I have some Grand Theft Auto for you guys today if, if you watched the last episode you would have seen that we met up with Lester so we can now complete heists from the apartment so that's where we are heading now on the way to the apartment so we can start doing the prep work for the fleece at job Heist. As you can see at the top right, heists are now available. You can also access them at the job menu. But we don't want to jump into a quick one. We want to host our own heist, not join another one. Which would have seen we'd have talked we talked about it on last on the last part, so if you watch that, this this part will make more sense. What up, wussy? I saw you racing. Not bad, but it's time to move out of the blue chips into something more volatile. Up the risk, up the gain. You feel me? I'm talking parachuting. Okay, I'm not really interested in parachuting right now. Thanks, Dom. I've got some heist to take care of. Yeah. So last episode we finished by we customized our bike a little bit and it finished with the phone call from Lester to say that we can now do heists so now we are back at the apartment into the heist room we go this is the heist planning room heist can be set up and planned from here So this is why we had to meet Lester last episode, so we could do this. See, we want to start the heist as a leader. That's what we want to do. Okay, so we've got scope out. Fleece a job. I think there's a cutscene coming up here, so I'm going to be quiet. Ah, yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something. It's something uh, very big. It's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count... Uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so, you ready? And what do you think? You uh, got questions, comments, concerns? All right, what are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Right, so we are now heading to the bank, I believe. Chauffeur, come on. Got to get in Lester's car, go and scope out the area, see what uh, the situation Take us to the is. On Western Highway near Chumash. Word of warning: we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're... Excuse me! Do you want to know how we're doing this? Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores, like I like my dates. 
across the street and unaware they're being watched. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Ugh. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense? Right, sounds interesting. There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on my cell. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. We've seen what we're gonna see. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. Right, okay, so that was a little insight of what we will be doing on the actual heist when we get to it. So at least now we know what what we're kind of what we're kind of getting into. We know the area a little better now. It's only a small bank, so it shouldn't be too crazy. You've got to get got to get into the safety deposit box that's where we need to go but he said uh, certain I'm one page she's my assistant first she's gonna get us what we need then she's gonna sell me in half <laughs> no no you like that one no uh, you don't make it easy you don't make it easy yourself Lester <laughs> Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mmm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo uh, Where were we? Ah, masks. Paige. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> There's Paige. We're leaving this car, taking the truck. Okay. So... Uh, I should be using my cane. Looks hey. like we're getting into this vehicle now got some more set up to do wait for my teammate what's he doing on okay our teammates finally decided Out to join us apartment. okay head back to the apartment gotta go and drop this vehicle off to my garage and then carry on with the is it all there I think so. You want to get out and check, go down the inventory, or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? Oh. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold alls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. 
Well, we're not hmm. getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. <laughs> and until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's got to be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Okay. Nice little conversation there. Okay, so we're nearly at the apartment now. Whoops, a day. Tree there. Okay, calm down, Lester. Gotta go and drop this in the garage. I think we're gonna go and pick up some more stuff for the house by the sounds. Let's just see. Okay, set up past. So that bit's complete. Not much to do really. We just scoped out the place and did some chauffeuring. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige will set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. The page is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're going to be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it. Study the plan. Tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs. Okay, so it looks like we need to go and get the Karuma now for the heist. Source the getaway car for the fleecer job. It's currently being looked after by a little soul stick up crew in Del Perro parking lot. So I think we've got to go after that. This is just showing me some information. High gear weapon clothes in the lock area. You'll use these items in the high setups and final. Okay. Uh, once the heist is complete, all evidence will be destroyed. Well, I should hope so. Uh, as leader, you have the choice to heist members. Uh, so choose wisely. Remember, if your heist members don't work out, invite other players instead. Try different combinations of players. Select the next next high setup mission to play. Okay, so there's only this one to do, the Karuma one. So let's go and get this sorted. Oh, <laughs> interesting choices here for the masks. You know what? I might go with the uh, the paper bag. It's quite funny. Um, what vehicle do we want? Yeah, we'll use that. That all looks good to me. Just wait on our teammate now to decide to ready up. Whenever he's ready.
Okay, Fleecer job, set up. I think this is the last setup mission we have to do now. I think once we've collected the car, we will then be able to do the heist. Hello, can you hear me? I'll be here to talk you through all these jobs. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, the car. Okay, you're on the way to Del Perro. A Koreatown stick-up crew has been using a parking lot as a base for scores. Uh, they're in... You almost there? Uh, remember, you can do this however you like, as long as you're careful. If you're not careful, they'll clock you, and then you won't get any choice how this is going down. They're meant to be on the top level of this garage on the north side. So, I see two ways of doing it. You go up the north ramps and hit them hard and quick, or you go up the south ramps, get in position, and try to get the drop on them from cover. Uh, you can do it however you like, as long as you get it done. And oh yeah, we don't want anyone looking for you, so put on masks before saying hi. Right, yeah, we've got our paper bag mask. Okay, so we've got to steal the Karuma. It looks like there's uh, people over here, so let's get our weapon out. This is the wrong place. Oh, there they've is the spotted us. Side. Okay, they've no they know we're here now. We're going to have to just take them out. Okay, there's quite a few. We should be good here though. We've got cover. Should be all good. As long as our teammate, wait, doesn't die. He decided to not take cover anymore. Seems like there's a few left over in that area. Okay, that's that sorted. Let's get in the vehicle. You got the car? Now yep. drop any cops or gangsters or whoever you've got coming after you and Ooh. bring it to my garment factory. And try not to damage the car too much. You can't rob a bank in a wrecked car. Okay, damaging the vehicle. To, uh, we'll reduce you know, the cash you know, from this high so sound. After it, please. Okay. Well, I'm not driving, so hopefully our teammate, our teammate will uh, take care of us. Oh, may maybe not. Can he drive? Take these guys out. Try and help him out a bit. Okay. Wait, does he know how to turn the vehicle? You pass the exit. No, yep, you can't go that way. You gotta go that way, sir. No, okay, where are you going? Oh, no, you just crashed into a corner now. Oh. Oh, okay. Where's he going? He's going the wrong way. He's just, just taking us back up to where we came from. Okay, let me drive. Oh, yeah, you, you get out. I'll do the driving. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, so we've got to deliver the Karuma to Leicester's factory now. I believe that the setup is done after this. Gotta try not to take too much damage to the car. Even though it's uh taken damage already. We've got all bullet holes in it. We've got enemies coming after us still. Well, Lester, I'm trying. It's kind of hard when I've got people coming after us. Okay, we're here now anyway. Lost the enemies. Takes good damage though. I have to get one of these. 
useful when when we do missions. I have to purchase one of these in the future episodes. Okay, I'll look after this. Lester will come by your place when you're ready to go. Okay. So is that done now? There we go. Set up pass. There we go. So now I think I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next episode we will be doing the actual heist itself. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure to stick around. Turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when I upload. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. This part I'm going to leave here. So make sure to stick around for the next part guys if you want to see the heist itself. Other than that guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.